Hello friends, welcome to this presentation. You are going to be learning building grid line integration between AutoCAD and Tecla Structural Designer. And so we are going to be taking this step by step. So for the first step is that from the architectural drawing, you need to ensure you prepare your structural paneling and grid lines just like this. And all the grid lines should be layered. As I selected this, you can see the layer right here. And then the column points should also be in layer. As I selected this column line, you can see the layer right there, even the walls successfully, because all of this will be actually integrated with uh, uh, Tecla Designer successfully in this video. Stay connected as I will expose how to do this properly in this video. Let us get started. All right, so we navigate to Tecla Designer. Okay, so from here, let's start by creating a new project over to file and click on the new right there. Just click on the yes option to save this particular one in a folder. Just cancel this from here. Click on new again. We don't want to save this. Click on no options so we can get to a new project just like this. So in the new project, you just have to get back to uh, AutoCAD. Here in AutoCAD, we need to save, save this file okay in a dsf format so select all of the structural plan like this and then type, type w on the keyboard and then enter w simply means right block okay so the unit should be in millimeters which is the unit of this uh, structural plan so we will navigate to where we'll save this uh, plan click in this provision right here this takes us to the desktop so let's just save it here so we call this plan Plan A, just like this. Plan A. So you have to look at the file of type. So click in this provision. It must be in the XF. All right. So I will use this AutoCAD XF option, and I click on Save. Then I click on the OK to have the plan saved successfully on the desktop. Now navigate to the Cloud Designer. So we get to the modeling tab. This model tab, click right there and then come to grid, select in this provision and then click on the import DXF. Click right there and in the window right here, you have to navigate to where you save the file. Mine is on the desktop, plan A, this one. I select it, click on the open. So in the DXF import wizard here, ensure that you deselect all of the layers. At first, we are going to be selecting the grid line layer, this one, and the output is going to be architectural grid. The unit is very important. It should be the same unit in AutoCAD, which is millimeters. You can see from here, or you can select any other unit in, in your own case, all right? After which, the scale should be one. And then the offset should be zero, zero, all right? Then this color provision leave it at default click on the next options then in the architectural grids use by layer these options okay for now we have level just one st base with this set level all right that's another issue click on finished option and then you can see that the green line is being imported just like this but the green line labeling are not properly organized as you can see they are not arranged all right so to arrange the grid line label what you do just select on the grid line just like this and then come to this property window over here click and then choose this option of grid line 25 items select it right there and then navigate to the structure option you see architectural grid line right here select it right click and then click on renumber and then in this renumber grid window you can see vertical grid names Affine numeric so you can change depending on what and how you want to grid the plan in terms of the labeling horizontal grid names all right is numeric so i go by this format just click on the ok so this has automatically arranged and relabeled the three lines successfully as you can see label it properly all right so now we are good we get back we need to import the column point so that we can properly you know starts to model it based on the point that you had in AutoCAD so to do that click on this provision again go to import DXF option then get back to the file that we saved from AutoCAD this one 
and then click on the open option all right so in the dxf import wizard now they select all the layers and then this time around we need just column and then we can also click on the wall right there we need column and wall all right so now the output is going to be shadow all right we want it to be shadow so this this is not an architectural grid so we need to select shadow after we click on the finish option here we go so you can now see that we have imported the structural plan from autocad as well as the grid lines into Tecla Structural Designer successfully. And then you can see the labeling of the grid lines are properly done as we automate it successfully. From here, you can now start to model your structure according to the grid line. So how do you actually know that what you did is correct? For instance, let's just carry out some dimension. Let's be sure between grid line one and two, you click on the dimension from here, pick the first point and pick the second point. Move your hand this way and click zoom closely you can see we have 100 uh, 1010 right there as the green line escape as the distance between green line one and two all right so navigate to autocad this is the green line one and this is green line two so let's dimension from here to be sure that we are accurate all right so you can see we still have 1010 right here if i get back to tecla designer you see over here 1010 as well so everything is good this is how you can properly uh export your grid line from autocad to tecla designer automate the grid line labeling and then the column points as well as the paneling provisions that consists of your structural plan so from here you can start your modeling at ease okay if this video has helped you please do not forget to like this video hit on the like button Hit on the subscribe to subscribe to our channel so freezing we are inviting you to be part of our channel membership click on the join button right here and then follow the all screen instruction or you can use this join button to be part of the membership so you can get access to our in-depth videos on this software that we teach on our channel successfully also our pro user masterclass is ongoing on tecla structural designer as well prota structure so we are inviting you to join this masterclass and if you have interest to join you can use any of our handle right here we have telegram handle as well whatsapp handle you can reach to us through any of this handle and then be part of this pro user masterclass on these softwares see you in the next presentations have a great day and god bless you